Hey guys, it's Rihanna. So today we're gonna to be doing a problem with the plotter and magnetic force. All right, so we're gonna do problem nine six. Refer to figure twenty. Determine the magnetic course from First Flight Airport Area Five to Hampton Roads Airport Area. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is draw a line between Hampton Roads, which is up here, and First Flight, which we've already done. Now we're gonna use our plotter to find our true course. So as we said in a prior video, there's two ways to use a plotter, right way and the wrong way. I use the wrong way, but we will show you both. So the right way is to align your plotter with that line that you just drew and slide it up until one of these lines here is parallel to the vertical grid line on your map. You can't really see it, but there's one right here. So. We're gonna slide it up, make sure it stays aligned to the course that you drew. And all right, so it looks like our course is about 140 or 320. And since we're going northwest, our course is 320. Now, the way I like to use it is I use the horizontal grid lines. And I just put this little circle here right on the point where my course intersects with one of those horizontal grid lines. Make sure the plotter is nice and aligned. And then when you do this, you have to do a little bit of math, but you're gonna treat where it says 90 to 70 as zero degrees or 360, whichever way you're going. And you're gonna subtract in this case. So 10, 20, 30, 40, thereabouts. So. 360 minus 40 is 320. So again, our true course in this case is 320. However, the problem wants us to find our magnetic course and magnetic course is just your true course plus or minus your magnetic variation, which is the exact same thing as the GM angle that you learned about in OCS and TBS. In this case, we find our isogonic line, which is a dotted magenta line that's kind of running down along the chart. And it says at the bottom, 11 degrees west. So you add westerlies and you subtract easterlies. So we have our true course of 320. And we're going to add 11 degrees to that because it is a westerly. And we're going to get a magnetic course of 331. We go back to our problem and look at what our possible answers are. We see 141, which is completely out there. We see 321, which is very similar to what we plotted as our true course. But again, we want magnetic course, so we're going to look down at C332 as our magnetic course, and that is the answer. 